One of the new features in the April 2025 release of Photoshop allows you to quickly modify prominent colors in an image. I've downloaded these images from the links in the description and we'll start with this simple example. Let's say we want to make this blue helmet white or gray like the others. In the contextual taskbar, which you can show by right clicking outside the canvas and selecting contextual taskbar, you'll see a new option called adjust colors. And if you click on it, it'll show you the six most prominent colors in the image as swatches and it will create a new hue saturation layer in the layers panel right here. And one of the colors is actually the blue color of the helmet. So let's click on it to open this window with three sliders. And now any change we make here will affect this specific color. And notice how these same sliders exist in the properties panel of the hue saturation adjustment layer as well. So I'll set the saturation to negative 100 and the lightness to 100. Perfect. And you can see the swatch is now showing what color the blue has become. So it's a nice before and after comparison. Speaking of which, this is before we adjusted the blue color and this is after. Before and after. Have you noticed something? Yes, other blue elements are affected as well. The blue jeans and this blue object in the background. To fix this, we can simply mask out everything except for the helmet. If you don't know how masks work, check out my two minute video in the description. But if you do, go ahead and click on the mask of the adjustment layer, fill it with black. I just pressed control backspace or command delete to fill it with the background color, which is black. Activate the brush tool, select a soft round brush, set the foreground color to white and simply paint over the helmet. You don't have to be precise because there are no blue objects around the helmet. So these areas won't be affected anyway. Awesome. Here's another example. Let's say we want to change this blue jacket to red. We'll do the same thing. Click on adjust colors, click on the blue swatch, change the hue to red. But what's happening here? Well, it seems some of the blues of the jacket are not being affected. And this is where the properties panel can help. So make sure the hue saturation adjustment layer is selected, not the mask, but the layer itself. And at the bottom of the properties panel, you'll see these before and after sliders. So you can see this blue is becoming red. But we want more blue to become red, not just this one. To do that, simply move the left vertical slider a little bit to the left until the whole jacket is red. And the triangle slider here is called the fall off and it helps create a smooth transition. So let's move it a little bit to the left as well. Great. And like we did before, you can fill the mask with black, paint over the jacket with a white brush and you're done before and after. And that's it.